Good morning, everyone, and welcome back to the Wasteland, where last time we went on a huge expedition out to the west in search of the desert biome so that we could harvest up some oil shale for gasoline. And fortunately, we found a motorcycle fully repaired and fueled in our travels. And so here we are, far out to the west. I'm doing just a little bit of morning scavenging. I'm underground in some sort of a very deep basement, which is concerning in itself. There's a feral white and mo here. I've killed maybe four zombies or so to get here. I figure a bunker this deep underground has got to be good for some loot. Oh, it's good for some zombies. Whoa, yes it is. All right, a little bit worse for the wear there. I did find a bandage and a sports bag upstairs though. And these are pretty much all ferals, so I'll search them for a second. Ooh, eye candy off of that one. Okay, so basically it was like a garage and then inside the garage, was this basement hatch door that led down here. Are we clear down here or? Okay, tier two loot chest. I hear footsteps. Oh, there it is. All right, are we good down here or what? We do have quite a bit of loot. This is like some sort of a fallout shelter down here. Although clearly it did not go too well for the occupants. So this morning I've stopped outside this interesting place right here. Got a traitor flag outside, so obviously uh, this person here is in cahoots with Trader Borg and the rest of them with the alien technology. I'll be interested in seeing what's going on there, but yeah, here's the place where we just came from. Down the tunnel here and into the main loot room, I guess, which has a 50 cal, man. I pulled so much 50 cal ammo out, but Still no sign of a 50 cal rifle. And even if I had one, I don't think I need like 1200 bullets for it. Yeah, and I'd say that just about does it for my interest in this place. Oh, there we go. A couple of magazines to close things out. We can make a pump shotgun quality four now, which is much better than the one I have. So something to look into if I want to spend some of my steel, which I really, I, we're, we're close to getting the crucible. Maybe this trader over here will have the forge ahead magazines that we're looking for. Let's check. Another trader with zombies <laughs> inside the compound. Not surprising because looks like there was quite a fire in here. He might have been torching them in this big burn pit here. Whoa. Think it's worth going down in there? Let's take a peek and see if there's any hidden loot or... No, I think that's a death trap. Okay, let's go. Let's find a way up here. Yeah, there we go. Staircase. This place is super cool. Look at this. The alien technology around here is lit. I like this place almost as much as I do Trader Borgs. All right, who are we dealing oh, with here? Trader on. Hugh, man. What do you got over here? You got some free car parts for me? Nice, I like that. Some uh, oil shale, which is what we're here for in the first place. And vehicle repair impact driver in the vending machine. Ooh, an awesome sauce, which we will have to be taking. Nice. And let's check his inventory here and probably could get rid of some of the things like that 50 cal ammo I was talking about earlier and see if he maybe has uh, anything good for books. Now, you know, he really doesn't have anything at all here that I'm willing to purchase. So, I mean, he has a couple like vertebird landing gear. I think I would probably like to have that, but <laughs> I haven't seen else. a vertebird yes, around here yeah, anywhere. Boy. All right, we will press on then. We're about, I don't know, a third of the way around this island here, this map that we're on. Let's just pull up the map here and uh, check and see what's happened. So we went from where we live over here through a, a couple of really cool POIs out here. So we'll be back in this neighborhood to check that out. Through a big portion of wasteland, back through a big portion of temperate zone, through a couple of cities there. And now we're in a big burnt out city over here. What I'm gonna do is just continue pressing south until I see a left turn and I'm gonna see if I can hook it back to the east. And we'll just, there's just this massive swath of unexplored territory out here. And that's what we're looking for. And I've passed by like just a dozen of these little shanty shacks here. In fact, that one has a cement mixer in it, which could mean forge ahead books. I'll see if I can grab that real quick. Yes. Okay. Careful though. We have no idea what's going on in here. Let me just, that's a working one. Dang it. <laughs> well, I'll take the materials off it anyway. And can we just break through some of this barbed wire here if that works? And yeah, I think this is just an overrun little shanty survivor's shack over here. Anything worth my time grabbing in here though while I'm kind of passing through? I see some loot in there. <laughs> Into the fireplace with you. 
yeah, here we go. Okay, just a quick smash and grab here. We'll see what we get. Nothing good, I'm sure, but we're here. We might as well have it. All right, pressing on then. You know, there's all these roads that lead somewhere too. Like, like there's a road that leads to this place, but then there's a road over here, which leads off into the middle of nowhere. And I don't have much going on. I'm going to just poke down that road there and see what's at the end. Hold on a second. That's an Adam sedan there. And we're looking for parts for this as well. Oh, do we want to? Yeah, yeah, let's do the, th wait, we, didn't we just get, yes, the vehicle repair impact driver, and I think it was forged iron the last time to repair these, so if I go one, oh, that gave me, well, an acid, first of all, but also gave me the Adam sedan rear bumper, okay, so then I repair it, oh, that's a lot of forged iron, but then I can wrench it again, and I got another bumper off of it, and something else, too, what did I get that time? Ooh, Adam Sedan windshield. <laughs> How much forged iron do I have left? Keep repairing this thing. And then one more. Was that a front bumper? Yes, I got the front and rear bumper now. Okay, we've made some huge progress here. Can I, now I can't do it anymore. So this time I'll take the complete vehicle. <laughs> well, I mean, that makes sense, right? Cause there were definitely, you know, windows and bumpers on that thing there. And yeah, we're getting into a real sticky situation with the inventory now. Ah, just give me a couple of seconds to clean all this crap up. We don't need to bring all this stuff home with us. All right, let's go down this road a little ways here and just see what's down here. Just so I can say that I did it at least. And oh my God, is that what's at the end of all these roads or just crazy pyramid houses? What the heck, man? Do I even want to do this right now? I mean, yeah, it's like midday. I guess we could poke in here. This looks kind of... Uh, whoops, I just ran over a stripper. Yeah, this looks kind of involved and also very dangerous, which kind of intrigues me as well. I want to get in here. The loot, they're, they're baiting me in with buffin and first aid kits. Lots of zombies out front here though, so we'll have to do a little bit of a clear job. Whoa, the back is... Wow, there's a ton of loot out back, too. The back is cool, man. Look at this big... Whoop. We've got animals out here as well. All right, gotta go easy on the ammo. Whoop. Oh, my God. Big Mama's juking me out like an NFL player. All right, I've made my way full circle around the perimeter. I think we just got these two guys left over. And we can... Whoop. Maybe three or four. Whoa. Oh, the biker with the haymakers. Blow blast his leg off love it all right hit, whoa quite a crowd in here interesting zombie defense pattern here I, I guess if it works it works except it didn't work this place looks infested oh is this oh that's a door right there i see okay so is this like a cult like uh oh like a cult temple or something wait a minute this just goes straight down oh my goodness what is going on down there that is like very far away. Well, I guess we're heading down. I mean, you see any zombies here or... Or is it... Oh, yes, we definitely have zombies here. Well, let's light them up and kind of backpedal a little bit. I woke a couple up. No? Are they... Sounds like they're under the stairs. Oh, yeah, they're stuck over here. Okay, just... um, Yeah, we definitely still have some sleepers here. And... There's two or three back here, and there's like more tunnels back there. Great. So far, just regular soldiers here, though. Yeah, this definitely was some sort of like a militarized cult, and they sent the soldiers in to take care of them, and then something happened. Whoa. All right, I should have utilized the skills that I have. You know, I was looking at some of the crafting recipes there a while back, and if I could find myself an oil filter, I could make a makeshift silencer, I think it was. Yeah, I can't even find it in the crafting menu. It might only be like a workstation only thing, but I want to look into that some more when I get home. We really could use a silencer on the rifle at this point. Weapons bag here, you never know, you could just pull one out. Ooh, nice baseball bat there, but not quite the quality that we're used to pulling out. Look at the decorations here. I mean, this place must have taken forever to make and cost a fortune at that. Ooh. Nope, I was thinking maybe they hid something behind the glass there, but that is not the case today. This is like the mirroring side over here. Just take care of these regulars here. Yeah. I don't think there's anything special necessarily. Got a little safe here. And we're in. Man, this place might be like a tier four, which little baseball bat there. Which would be great. I got that eye candy from earlier. We could use that. Okay, let's try to clear out this back area here. I can see a weapons bag. 
Is it already clear? Are we good here? I'm expecting some of these to be like trap walls, but it hasn't been the case so far. All right, that leaves us with but one choice, and that is to go down this long staircase in this direction. Oh, oh my goodness, got a whole bunch of dogs turning the corner there. Two shots though to take them all out. That was creepy, they didn't even make a sound. Oop, shot the messiah box over there. Anybody, oh my God, again with the, the whole behind the staircase thing, the dog rolled down the stairs and I heard it. Okay, check this. Ooh, okay, nice service rifle there, but we're saving, you know, we got the uh, scar here, so we use the 5.56 five, for this. Ooh, speaking of that, we got some mutated zombies here. Let's see if I'm far enough away, if I can pick him off without waking anyone else up. Just try to find his face in there somewhere. Somewhere in that blob. That did not seem to work, I don't think. Sit down, buddy. Okay, proceeding with caution. Ooh. That looks like the end of it down there. Oh my god, look at the architecture style here. This is just crazy. It's so eerie and... Oh, are these like false walls with freaking bear behind them or something? Nope. There are some rooms though. Little offshoots here with some cops. Oh, and I'm hungry. <laughs> it's like the worst possible. Okay, just sneak an omelet into ya. All right, you happy? Good. Now take out that cop there and then quickly turn it. Take that one out as well and then just backtrack because there might have been more in there. Indeed, these are ferals. We're done with the soft soldier boys from upstairs. Oof, ow, whoa. Oh, I've tr Ooh. Man, I pinned myself on the candle place there. Okay, ammo's holding up fine. Stamina's good, health. We could use a bandage. We can take one of those. In fact, we need bandages on the hotbar, not vehicle repair impact drivers, please. Okay, oh, same procedure here. Do we have like just a long hallway of rooms with zombies? No, no zombies in here. I think the ones we just killed came out of these rooms here, maybe? One little ammo pile there and another wing of rooms here, which these ones, are, what are these things, man? Okay, they've definitely got some technology here. They're suspending metal objects in thin air. What's going on in the back room though? Is this the end of it here? Whoop, oh, stupid garbage, get out of here. I take that back. We still got some soldiers down here um, to the tune of four and it seems like they're probably all feral and then back there, Ooh, there's a gun safe back there. Okay, so that's where the cult had held up all their ammo and stuff. That could be a hidden stash up there too. Keep an eye on that when we get there, if we get there. All right, we gotta do like a one, two, three, four as fast as possible here. One, two, miss, three, hit, and four, hit. I'd say not too bad. And are we good here? Just double tap, triple tap. We're good. Whoa, uh oh, oh jeez. I'm, am I radiated? Whoa, 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 what was that? Oh my goodness. We've got a super rad back there. Oh geez, I've seen these. I saw one on the way over here. Uh, okay, so there's a, I think it's a mutated zombie. Get this crap out of my way before I die. <laughs> Inventory is totally cluttered up again. Okay, that's better. Let's take a Nuka-Cola there and try to sneak up here again and see what we can do. Okay, we want full auto for this. We gotta take care of this rad as fast as possible. In fact, where's, don't I have a rad remover somewhere? No, no, where is it? It's on some other weapon at home, I think. Okay, well, we'll do the best we can. We got a long hallway here. If I can just peel him off from the group there. Oh, yep. Oh, geez. Um, let's just take a preemptive first aid kit. I've got some extras there. And, okay, wake him up, wake him up, wake him up, bring him out. Oh man, there's a lot, a lot of people coming from back there. Oh geez, what are we gonna do here? Okay, are you the, are you the super rad there or? No, it's that one back there, it's hash pipe. Okay, whoa, get out of here. Come on buddy, you and me. Oh my god, it's so strong! We gotta run! Oh my god, super radiation! Run, 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 run! We gotta get out of here! Okay, oh jeez, he's, he's still coming. I'm going out the front door here with the burnt zombies. Ow! The radiation's killing me! Run, run, run! Into the woods, into the woods! I'm, I gotta get out of here. Jeez, we gotta 
let that first aid catch up for us with us a little bit. Okay, I made it far enough away so that I'm not getting raided any, anymore, but I'm really concerned that that guy takes so much damage. Okay, we can use the rifle to our advantage now, I think. He's stuck in there. Perfect. Oh, I think I killed him. I think I heard like a death growl or something. Yeah, and we're not getting radiation poisoning anymore. Whoa, what a monster. Oh, man. Can't even search him. His, his dead body just decayed that fast. Okay, I hope that was the only one. I think we killed everyone else in that long corridor there. Yep, this is the big room with the soldiers in it. And this one back here was the big room with everything else in it. Oh, wow. Holy crap, this is a huge room. Okay. Where was that? There, right there. That could be a hidden stash. That, still a dog in here. Get out of here. Ooh, tier four loot too. We can definitely take the eye candy for this. Let's just get a ladder up to the potential hidden stash. And then there was also, I'm gonna just do a horizontal ladder here. Yeah, there was that. Nope, that's just nothing, I guess. What is that? Oh, hidden stash. There we go. Okay, so eye candy in. Start with the hidden stash here. Ooh, nice. Two forge ahead books. That was the whole set for the Wasteland Treasures. That was just getting brass from sinks and plumbing, though. Gun safe is good for... Hey, a rad remover. And the main chest is good for... Ooh, two more forge ahead, a treasure map, and a smattering of other things. One more thing here. We did just unlock the crucible. I just saw that. That is awesome. Nice. Okay, and then that was like motion sensors, timer relays. Good stuff, man. Yeah, those advanced engineering points we took there a couple days ago are really coming in handy. All right, now that we've put these creepy cultists to rest here, I think it's time that we press on for our mission to find the desert. This is definitely... Probably the coolest place I've ever been though. Just got to say that right now. This place is crazy. Love it. I figured while I was out here, I had read a treasure map and it was not very far away. So here I am trying to pick into it. There we go. We're in. I don't think we'll be in this neighborhood again for a good long while. So grab all of that and let's see if we can get out of here. So I've made my way to yet another temperate biome we got to get back on the road though and see if we can find a road leading to the east now yep here we go heading straight east and there's definitely a whole nother city out here uh oh whoa, whoa. Ow, that's definitely a bandit yikes man oh and speaking of that utilitron robot out here that's cool it's been a while since i've seen one of those guys oh no yes yes we is this Wait, is this a fence or is- No, that's desert. Yes, I thought that might be like a wooden, like an orange colored wooden fence, but no, here we are. We found it, which is kind of perfect timing because now, uh, whoops, I'm gonna get the steel off of- Oh, no, 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 watch out. Don't hit the guardrail. Whoop, whoop, more gunfire. Oh, that's definitely not the same guy as before, but I have a grudge, <laughs> I have a score to settle with the other guy that shot me on the way through. Here you go, take that, and another one. How do you like me now? Teach you guys a lesson for shooting passers-by. A little bit of cash, lot a bit of cash in that ATM there and a couple of working vending machines. Yeah, perfect timing because I'm gonna do, we'll do the oil shale harvesting here at night. And then in the morning, we can kind of press on to our final destination, hopefully, which is home. I just gotta poke around here for a while and see if I can find some surface nodes for oil shale. I mean, plenty of real estate, I'm sure. Whoa! Is that like a desert scorpion? Okay, so we've got that to contend with out here. Okay, still no sign of oil shale, which has me only a little bit worried. There's another huge city out there. There's a huge city we just passed by, and there's a freaking volcano or something way out there. It kind of looks like it's on an island a little bit, but yeah, there's something on top of it too. I might kind of head in that direction. I don't know. We'll see what's going on around here. Yeah, on second thought, I don't know. There's a huge river here. Not even river. It's just like a an inlet from the ocean out there. That would be hard to get through. And um, yeah, where we can't pick up or move the vehicles, uh, I'm not going to take my chances in ditches and rivers getting my vehicle lost being out here. Oh, could you imagine being stuck out here on foot? Oh, that would... That would just be such a disaster. Okay, is that finally oil shale right there? And yes, it is, finally. Okay, so that is our nighttime activity. We just gotta clear the area here a little bit. Drowned zombie coming up out of the ocean there. 
All right, so this is it. This is our activity for the whole rest of the night. I'm basically, for the next three or so hours, I'm just going to mine oil shale and dig sand. These resources will go a long way for us in the future. Thank goodness I went and took some points into Miner 69er, because it's going to be a lot easier now. All right, it's officially morning, it's a fresh new day, and the inventory is pretty much completely full. It's time to get out of here. Except for, who is this guy? Silver Gats, what are you doing here? Well, I dug a nice little hole for you. If you'd be so kind. Get in the hole. <laughs> <laughs> yes, hole in one, baby. All right, it's gonna be kind of a convoluted way of getting back, but we've gotta find a way. We pretty much live due north from here. There's just a massive water obstacle in the way. The key to returning home might lie somewhere around the volcano straight ahead, or Mesa, whatever that is. crap man this is like a massive trader compound it looks like at least there's a trader joel's sign out front well let's see what it says here it says trader man geez good thing i had some mineral water this morning because this is quite a hike up here well i got the power armor i guess so i don't know do you use your muscles when you're when you have the power armor activated or what I don't know, man. This is a lot of exercise for me. <laughs> this is a long way up, man. How do they, like, people that have houses like this, when you go grocery shopping, how do you get all your groceries into your house? It's just foolish, man. They should have built an elevator. Would have been a good investment. Man, a fire on this mountainside here? <laughs> just a errant lightning strike would be completely disastrous. Okay, finally, I think I'm on the final leg of the journey to the top here. There's some fancy architecture at the top here. Oop, lots of birds along the way as well. A few zombies I've passed by. I mean, something this big, it'd be hard to keep the place completely clear. And wow, this place is pretty cool up top. Pretty cool. And um, there are just rats that I guess live here. Sure. Oh, I can see where the traders are. Straight ahead over there in that building. Yeah, over here we have, ooh, a helicopter. Sports bag here, always check these. Rotten flesh, nice. Proving me to be, whoa. A, a, a wise survivor, <laughs> right? Whoa, whoa, what is all this up here? What the hell? Oh, it's a huge zombie fight, oh boy. Couple of rads, but, you know, not the most dangerous variety, I would say. Here, let's just go ahead with guns. At this point, I think everyone's awake. And they're very confused by the staircase here. Pretty much exclusively gonna search the rads here. Wow, they have a lot of money on them sometimes. Whoop, it's a big mess going on over there now. Snakes, although careful, because I can see a cardboard box in there. Yes, hidden stash, nice. Oh man, what is it with the hidden stashes these days? Freaking single semi-mod, whatever. All right, well this half seems to be clear. Let's head over and check on the trader over here. Looks like there's two of them, at least. No way, there's five of them. The, the whole gang is here. Are you guys on like a working vacation retreat up here on the top of the mountain fortress? This is like a, a training expedition for you. What's going on back here? Is it just a big hunk of nitrate? Is this, is this like an alien space rock that you've <laughs> enshrined up here or something. Ah, man, I'll never understand you guys. You guys are crazy. Well, I think Trader Bobby over here probably is gonna give us the best deal on everything. Just gonna sell like parts, some simple stuff here just to make some room in my inventory and the rest of it I will save for a rainy day. Okay, time to get some magazines, I think. Electrical traps, forge ahead. A katana? What? That's crazy. I never knew. Meant for samurai warriors, but who's left to judge? It's kind of inexpensive, and it could definitely replace the hunting knife that I have. I, th I think. I, I mean, I'm assuming it's a bladed weapon, same as the uh, knife and machete. So, sure, I'll take that. If anything, just to have a look at it. It's a collectible, you know. Uh, thank is there God, a zombie sir. here? Hello? Oh, there he is. Take a hike, buddy. Oh, there's like a whole playground. Do you guys have children here? Oh, some blueberry pie and some home cooking magazines. What does this say here? Battle Poppy's Playground. I wonder who Battle Poppy is. 
some playground here, though. Well, I guess I'll take a look at the other inventories. It seems a little bit cheesy to have everyone here all at once, but I figure one little dip into the well's not going to hurt anyone. Well, I've searched everyone's inventory right, at this point, and I think I bought a couple of things. Can I reach? Wait, can I go in? Oh, here we go. Trader Joel, don't you dare move a muscle or I will club you over the head. I'm having this stuff whether you like it or not. Here we go. Shotgun book there. Some stuff. I just sold him a bunch of the same parts. And some more parts. Okay, lots of parts here. Parts in a Crippleum mod and some arrowheads. Okay, good enough. I guess I'll check this book thing over here. Free for the taking here today. No thanks. All right, I think I've spent enough time here. So in terms of what I bought there, I bought an awesome sauce from Jen, some cooking magazines. I got the Art of Binding Volume 3, which is harvesting more when buzzed by coffee, which doesn't do us any good because I have no coffee. I never find coffee. It is just not something that's out there. And also some trap books and such. Okay, it's, um, it's about midday or so. I've already had lunch. I had a blueberry pie there. Let's get off of this forsaken mountain here. And whoa, whoa, before we go, though, we can actually get a vantage point of what's going on around us. Okay, so this is where we came from in this direction over here. We came across that land bridge right there. Perhaps we'll have to go across that one to kind of get to where we're going because that mountain right there, that's the mountain that the prison was on. That we, that Everything, it all started over there. It's on the other side of that mountain and it's kind of like on a slope on, you know, a, a ridge line that's going down the other side, but... That is where we need to go. So if I'm looking at the map, the the prison is right here. This big mass right here is that mountain that we're looking at. So yeah, if we go, hmm. Yeah, there were actually some interesting things I wanted to look at over here, but we don't have the inventory space to do that. Okay, long story short, it's a hard path whether we go to the right of the mountain or to the left of the mountain. But we've got to go in one direction, so all right, I'll meet you downstairs and we'll get this process started. Man, if only I had a hang glider, <laughs> that would... Oh! Or some oh shits drops, that would be nice too. Oh! You hear that? We got some gunfire here somewhere. It's like kind of far in the distance though. It, it has to be on this island here somewhere though. I believe it was two separate firearms, so that's either a bandit horde. Or it could be a soldier horde as well. Come on, come on, where are they? They're here somewhere. Are they on the mountain? Oh, someone's been doing some mining over here. Uh-oh. Come on, get this thing out of here. Go, 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 go. There you go. We're getting closer. Oh, over here! I can see the power armor. These are friends. This is a group of... of, um... Uh, radcats or something. Hey, guys! Man, it's been forever since I found one of you guys. Okay, so who's the one giant hermit with the m60 here oh no not the star bottle caps you guys suck man why can't you take dukes i don't even have enough dukes to hire him do i uh 15k i think it is what it takes usually oh my god you guys are so cool we've got doc emmett brown here king zeke bumblebee bobby jones and la boss wow i like your armor the best no i like yours the best i like that pink it, it goes well nope nope Black and red, classic. All right, none of these guys want to uh, talk to me because I think their captain is Giant Hermit here. Giant Hermit is hireable. I just don't have the bottle caps. You know what we need to do? We need to do the Nuka-Cola factory. That's on the to-do list for sure. Okay, well, guys, it was great seeing you, but I've got work to do. Maybe another time, perhaps. I'm so sad. I am just devastated that we can't hire them. Wait! There's more! Hello! Another group over here! Wow, this place is populated! Also an airdrop coming in, kind of in the direction that we're moving in. These guys are all straight melee though, and Daryl Peterson, you're the one in charge here. 25 bottle caps for you. Oh, who do we have here though? We've got Daryl, Logan Weaver, I Eats Beats, another Daryl, Daryl's brother, twin brother probably, Furious Ramsey, and Flounder. Jeez, I've stumbled into a whole operation here. Maybe this is like hired security for the trader compound. <laughs> they might want to get a couple guards up at the top. I should get a discount for doing half their job for them. All right, we're going to head over this land bridge here on the other side of the island and press on to the airdrop. Well, I hope you're up for a little bit of a swim because our airdrop went straight into the drink. Let's just see if I can get the e-brake going on this and make some inventory space here or... 
No, we're pretty good almost. There we go. That's better. All right, let's get in here. Yeah, this place is just infested with zombies. I don't know if we're going to be able to get this airdrop or not. Whoa, geez, spiker. All right, I'm going to clear out this next group or maybe two here. And I'll see if I can get to it. This power armor is just not made for swimming. All right, let's try it. Down we go. Ah, five seconds. Come on, watch my back. Quickly grab and we're clear. No worries. All right, let's get out of here. Okay, that was good for a pistol bundle, crafting skill magazine bundle, but none of the magazines that we're really looking for. I'll take an extra pie. And that pistol bundle was handgun magazines and a an actual pistol. I think we're a little bit beyond the pistol days. Okay, so from here, I'm gonna go right in a counterclockwise motion around this massive mountain that's here on our left and should probably link up to the southern border. Whoop, watch out for the bees the southern border of the wasteland city that we sort of live in. Oh, and before I do, this is the second time. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Laser, what was that? Oh, it's, that must be a Utilitron robot somewhere. But I've stumbled into a couple of these now. What, what even is this? Is it, is it just a mystery? I don't know what this is. Oh yeah, there's your Utilitron guy right there. Hello there, sir. Doing great work around here. Let me just help you out because I think that's who he was shooting at. Oh, 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 another group of rad cats over here. Uh, this is going to be the same crew asking for the star bottle caps. And I can only talk to the leader here. Covert Lettuce, Fasten, Stone Wyvern, Kit Maker, Garrett Wilson, and Beneficial. Who's the leader here? Kit Maker is, and that's 25 star bottle caps. God, man. Ah. Uh. I need to start drinking more soda. I'm getting close. I need like 25 to get one of the really good rad cats. And I'm at, I want to say like close to 20 now. And I think this is the end of town here. So we are just heading cross country up into the wasteland. I think, I hope. Let's get to the top of this little hill here and get a view of what's going on. Okay, another city. Small town, I guess, off to the right there. Yeah, I think we're on the right path here. Long, straight, dirt road heading due north. Yep, this is home right here. Familiar territory. This is kind of close to where we got the truck there several weeks ago. Oh, 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 oh. Mo power. Yes. Okay, gotta mark this one because we... De oh, watch out. We definitely need to raid that place for the magazines. Oh, what is this? It's a... A, a frog place. The Horny Toad. <laughs> There's a really cool Nuka-Cola sign out front there. Okay, so there's some interesting stuff out here. And this is actually a road that leads straight into the desert biome. It was right here all along. Oh, no way, no way. This looks really familiar to me. Is this what I think it is? Yes, this is it. The tunnel going down. This is where we dug ourselves out after the, the disaster. And then right around the corner here, vault. 101. Oh my god. Okay, we're, we're in no condition to go back in there after what happened there before. Yet. We need more allies, we need better weapons, gear, more ammo, and certainly not a fully encumbered inventory. But at least I know where this is. Gonna mark it on the map here. We will return. 101. Have I arrived home at the perfect time to get ambushed by a wandering horde? It does appear that way. So... In the waning hours before nightfall, I suppose we should probably take care of this crowd. Not a very large wandering horde by the looks of it. Probably drawn in by the motorcycle sound, though. All right, I think we're pretty well organized right now. We can craft the crucible finally. Be ready in a couple of minutes. Whoop, zombie downstairs and sounds like uh, someone that's doing a lot of block damage. No! Oh, no, 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 crap. We're not supposed to be shooting. Ah, speaking of block damage, crap. We lost something there. Oh, yes. One of the drawbacks to this system here is that I can't see, yeah, I can't see through to do repairs from the side if I so chose to do that during Horde Night. So, what we could do to fix that, oh, by the way, I wanted to look at the katana, here it is, in all its glory, pretty cool. But yeah, what we could do here is knock, let's just knock one out for now and see what it looks like. So that would, oh, that would almost, do what we want it to do. Hmm. Yeah, I'm thinking to just put like a trussing block in there, 3D trussing. 
so that we could then reach through and repair or replace blocks during Horde Night if we had to. Kind of want to see what that would look like at least. Okay, so that's actually... I don't know that that's half bad like that. I'm just getting jammed up on everything here. So... Yeah, I think we have to do something like that just in case we need to do repairs or like that block right there would need to be replaced during Horde Night if if that happened during Horde Night. Oh, and he, this is why I had the front piece removed originally, that, that bar right there in front, because when it's not Horde Night, I need the zombies to come closer so I can whack them. On Horde Night, you know, we can freely just shoot. It's no problem. All right, I suppose it's probably time to fix up all this stuff up here. I do have some extra bulletproof glass that I crafted while we were gone. And next time around, we should have a blade trap, which by the way, I haven't unlocked that in my travels, have I? I didn't see any at Traders. It was a little frustrating. One more trap book is all we need. When's Trader Day? I think, didn't we just have a Trader Day? I'm gonna go check at Johnny's and see if he is selling any of those. Hey, Johnny, what's the matter? You weren't invited to the getaway there at the volcano or the big mountain out there, so let's check your inventory. Trap. Oh, he is selling a blade trap, and he will sell that until tomorrow. Okay, well, good to know. I don't think I'm going to splurge on that. It's like 2,500 dukes, so I will definitely get a trap magazine later on today, early morning tomorrow. Look at this absolute mess that's happened over here since the last time I was over in this area. Somebody blew up, made this big mess here. <laughs> Just took a big chunk out of the road. I suppose it fits the ambiance here in the wasteland. All right, I foresee a pretty quiet night. Probably have to make a few trips down here to kill some zombies. But what I'm going to work on is just getting things organized and getting a plan going for tomorrow. Get some building materials ready because we'll have to do some base construction and upgrades. So at this point, I think it's safe for you all to get some rest. I'll take first watch out here and we'll pick things up first thing tomorrow morning. Hey everyone, I just wanted to say thank you for watching, for leaving a like, but most of all, thank you to the long list of amazing supporters that you see right here. I hope this episode has earned your subscription, and I can't wait to show you the next one. Best wishes to all, and goodbye.